Okay, in Sudan, thousands protest repeal of Islamic restrictions. The Sudanese government recently passed a number of laws that repealed various Islamic legal restrictions introduced while former President Bashir was in power, including the outlaw of apostasy and restrictions on women's dress. The new legislation also prohibited female genital mutilation and allowed the consumption of alcohol for non-Muslims and for mothers to travel with their children without the permission of the father. Thousands of Sudanese Islamic groups and supporters of ousted President Omar al-Bashir staged a protest in the capital Khartoum uh, against a new set of laws that have scrapped various Islamic laws. Quote, we are ready for a jihad to defend Islam, a protester said as he chanted, Nasur al-Din uh, is an enemy of Allah, referring to the Minister of Justice who spearheaded the new laws. So I wanted to highlight this because um, either last week or the week before, we were talking about how they have ended the death penalty for apostasy there. and. Um, while it's awesome that they've ended that law, obviously the attitude towards these things don't change overnight. And um, it was also brought to my attention by viewers that there are mass protests happening against this progress. So I wanted to talk about that this week. But it's pretty interesting that you even have protests in Sudan that were like, yeah, end Islamic restriction. Like, that gives me a lot of hope. Um, I mean, it seems also very interesting that that's one of the first things they're, you know, you, they're asking for after they manage to get rid of a dictator. And like, no, what this you is know, prote people who are protesting the but, repeal of the Islamic rules. I know, I know. But oh. that originally it was the other way around. Right, so this might be like people might lose a little, a little bit of a hope here, um, but the fact that we even had the first reaction should give us some hope that there's like there are a lot of people that are like, oh, wait, okay, you guys got a, got rid of a dictator. What do you guys want? And like, yep, yeah, and you know these Islamic laws. Can we get can we get rid of that? Like, if we, the fact that that was a major reaction to me gives me hope. But I mean, this reaction to the reaction would be surprising if it wasn't there i mean this is an islamic country do you think what what do you think is going to happen do you think that muslims are just going to be like sit back and be like oh i guess this is okay fine i guess we get yeah we're gonna you guys are in charge now and we're just gonna let you take sharia law away i, I mean obviously not right um this actually makes me think like gives me a lot of I, uh, makes me wonder about what would happen if Iran is ever successful of getting rid of the government because I, I kind of imagine it's kind of it's going to be kind of like this, but on steroids, where people like that you know it's not like if there's a revolution in Iran and the government falls, all the people that are finally like finally we could have a secular democracy, yay! I don't think it's going to go down that easy. I think a lot of uh is. You know, Islamic religious Muslims are going to be like, well, I mean, well, there's still millions of us here, and we're not just going to sit back and let you have a secular democracy. So, but go on, Shapam. No, about uh, when you're saying about Iran, I'm saying like, would it be like that? I mean, I I think there would be some people who would oppose it and say they want an Islamic theocracy, but wouldn't like the nationalists? Uh, be like uh, because of the Persian glory days and even before like uh, the Islamic revolution it, it, Iran was pretty okay with everything so wouldn't they be like yeah finally we got rid of this because yeah. the Persian glo uh, the glory of Persia it wasn't anything Islamic it was like Zoroastrian I guess it was Zoroastrian that time. well it would be worse than that I think like right now in Sudan what we have is like some people came out and say like hey remove these Islamic laws and now some people are coming back and saying no we are a Muslim country we want those laws right basically that's the summary of it right but I think what happens what would happen in Iran it would be like after the government is falls unfortunately one of the main reactions I think is going to be like Okay, we got rid of the Islamic rulers. 
gather all the Muslims now, gather all the no Muslim, gather all the mullahs, let's shoot them dead in the streets. Let the, let's paint the streets red with their blood. Um, that's what's going to be like because they're like because of the anti-Islamic. A lot of people in Iran are so sick and tired of Islam that I unfortunately again. YouTube, anybody, you know, Patreon, I'm not endorsing this. I'm just saying this is going to be the reaction, unfortunately. And then also a lot of the former uh, people who are loyal to the government, they're going to be like, well, good luck with that because we still have access to all the guns and we're coming at you first. We're going to come shoot you in your sleep. And I don't know. I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be chaos for like a decade or so before. So this Sudan thing, I mean, this is, I mean, are, is anybody like, what's the situation with the government right now? Like are these protesters, I mean, I, here's another interesting thing. I support these, I support the Muslim protesters who are coming out and protesting and saying, hey, we want Sharia because they're just protesting, right? You could come out and say protest and be like, hey, this is what we want. That's fine. I hope you don't get it. I hope you fail, but I want to support your right to protest and tell people what you want, right? Um, this is good. Like, I think people um, expressing what they want in this way is a healthy thing for society. And I really wish Sudan luck with their democracy because right now in, in North Africa and the Middle East, in the past couple of decades, there has been a major battle between um islamic monarchies and islamic uh, democracies uh, and again i know that's a contradiction islamic democracies but the islamic monarchs led by saudi arabia they have been very invested in making sure that every form of islamic democracy fails and they also use iran as an example of islamic democracy to scare people like this is what you get if you want an islamic democracy right because they see because a lot of muslims want their voice and like they feel uh, even after the revolution in iran when they had like a fake democracy a lot of muslims were being um, brainwashed to tell you know to, being told like look this is what you want you don't want monarchy we, we need muslims to vote and get the, you know we need muslims to have a revolution and get the monarchs who are puppets of the imperialist west out of this uh, out of ruling over you and get muslims to decide the leaders for themselves and saudi arabia has been par paranoid about that model ever since 1979's islamic revolution in iran right so that's why they aggressively try to sabotage and destroy any kind of other forms of um, tyrant, Islamic tyrants being removed in favor of a Islamic democracy or Islamic democracy or countries with, demo, uh, with Muslim majority that are also wanting to be democratic. So like, for example, when you had in Egypt, you know, when you had the vo uh, votes and you had the uh, Morsi come, that was like a major, major uh, threat. Uh, to Saudi Arabia's model. And again, so these, if Sudan is successful um, in making a democracy work, this is like a major threat to the Saudi Arabian model of government, right? And Saudi Arabia has very, is, is very interested in seeing these democracies fail to, sh to, to use it as an example of why their own citizens should never demand democracy. Um, but that's just basically. All right, anyways. So, next news. Okay, next news. Oh, so in this next news, we are going to try to not blaspheme against the YouTube gods. It, um, Michael Sherlock is agreeing with me have... again. I have to read this. This is very oh. strange. Uh, Michael Sherlock is saying, I hate to agree with Armin so much, but he's right. Pro-Sharia protests are healthy expression of human rights, which is ironic because if they get what they are asking for they can say bye to protesting for things yes yes i agree with michael sherlock and i'm as i am as uncomfortable with this as you are michael um we got another super why are we getting so many super chats from possible believe this is so kind um oh he's asking about oh it's aid right now and they're killing a lot of animals and placebo wants to use his or her super chat to bring uh, attention to that 
he or she's asking why we kill animals and ate. Um, yeah, and a lot of it goes to waste, by the way. Anyways, news, thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, what has, what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also... If you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like oh this person told us that they want to get your shows right they want to get your videos but nah you we think is no and oh look oh they also hit the bell button but nah you guys are too controversial we want to show them mainstream stuff we want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even you know, people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know we do get demonetized that's an obvious on every one of our videos so f that but we don't care about that anymore <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us deprioritize what does that mean that means we're not we don't show up on the suggested you know videos on the right and all that you know on the on people's home pages and that's how channels grow unfortunately we can't grow so we need you guys to share our videos 